no prior experience, yet they were genetically manipulating bat coronaviruses in highly dangerous experiments. No prior experience, yet they were genetically manipulating bat coronaviruses in highly dangerous experiments. The Wuhan Institute of Virology was built by the Chinese and French governments in a deal designed to promote international scientific research. As you can see, French and Chinese leaders attend a ceremony marking the signing of the agreement. After relying on the French government to both fund and build the lab, when it was complete, the French were immediately kicked out. The French government was furious as this was supposed to be a center of international cooperation and it raised alarm bells in French intelligence. There were grave concerns about what the scientists could be hiding and what biological, or perhaps they just accepted the line that it was a naturally occurring virus. Even though COVID-19 has claimed 3.7 million lives and counting. One of Drastic's members, Jesse, a digital archivist, made this video discovery along with the group's coordinator who goes by a pseudonym of Billy Bostickson for safety reasons. Billy's written a research paper delving into the question of whether the Wuhan lab kept live bats. This question has been hotly contested since the early days of the outbreak. Peter Dajic, who I just showed you didn't ask for the virus database when he visited Wuhan, has also denied there were bats kept at the Wuhan lab. In a December 2020 tweet, he said, no bats were sent to Wuhan lab for genetic analysis of viruses collected in the field. That's not how science works. We collect bat samples, send them to the lab. We release bats where we catch them. Then in a second December 2020 tweet, he repeated the claim again. He said, this is a widely circulated conspiracy theory. This piece describes work I'm the lead on and labs I've collaborated with for 15 years. They do not have live or dead bats in them. There is no evidence anywhere that this happened. It's an error that I hope will be corrected. Well, tonight, explosive footage from inside the Wuhan Institute of Virology indicates his statements are wrong. It is not a conspiracy to say there were live bats at the lab. It is a fact. And as you can see, this video shows bats in a cage at the Wuhan Institute. You can also see there a researcher feeding a bat with a worm. And in this image, we can see researchers out capturing bats and a bat even hangs off a researcher's hat. In another image, there are mouse cages, hundreds of them. We know that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was using humanized mice for experiments to see which coronaviruses could infect humans. In some experiments, they used the humanized mice to make viruses that couldn't previously infect humans do exactly that. These experiments called gain of function aim to make viruses more infectious and more virulent to try and predict which may cause a pandemic. This footage, had it been available early last year, may have reshaped the entire narrative around the potential origin of COVID-19. Back then we were told there were no bats at the lab, but we were told that disease-ridden bats were sold and butchered at the wet market. You'll remember this led to calls from presidents and prime ministers the world over to shut down wet markets. President, you Dr. Fauci? The president was asked about the uproar as he was leaving a news briefing today. He stuck his head back into the room to answer. Yes, I'm very confident, Dr. Fauci. Morning. In Washington, today, President Biden is defending Dr. Fauci today as the nation's COVID czar comes under increasing attacks from Fox News. The claim he ignored suspicions that the COVID virus was leaked from a lab in Wuhan, China. Tony Fauci knew from the beginning that COVID may have been manufactured in China. Emails now prove that Dr. Fauci knew that everything was happening in the lab. Mr. President, you talk to Dr. Fauci? The president was asked about the uproar as he was leaving a news briefing today. He stuck his head back into the room to answer. Yes, I'm very confident, Dr. Fauci.
I was ruined. <laughs> it's kind of stuck in my throat there, yeah, stuck in my throat. Ralph, look. I was ruined. <laughs> the Wuhan Institute of Virology is the lab under investigation by international intelligence agencies examining whether an accidental leak may have started the global pandemic.